up, Bugs? It's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe please give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated send so much love light upliftment um alignment um enlightenment whatever you're needing i'm sending that towards you a million times so anybody coming in with negative vibrations nefarious type of intentions or motives trying to block destroy distract dis disorient and all that other hoopla hoopla hey i'm sending that back towards you a million times so because all this right here is, is strongly protected, heavily guided, and ultimately loved. So, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, oh, because your light is powerfully needed. You're the example that holds the bridge from what was and what will be. It's true. Because there's a lot of times in life where things can really take place to where it'll make you feel like the scum of the earth or it'll make you feel like you know no matter what i do is never good enough you know i've had that that talk with universe you know and got tired of going through different things in my life but then it was just like that's that fear that's taking place i'm letting that devil you whisper in my ear that wants to be able to say you know hey you know because anytime I, i'll say you let me know are you that type of person when you went through a spiritual awakening or you found out because a lot of times we don't know we have constant spiritual awakenings anytime you're waking up from a veil because veils are being snatched left and right especially right now is going on especially since the 11 11 portal and stuff like that is like things are being thinned out to where you're seeing them in a whole new different light and clarity is coming in and that's all period you know you really going through it but it's just like you don't realize how you are divinely guided through everything you're going through. Nothing, anything that's worth having is not going to easily come to you. You're going to have some kind of resistance in your life, some kind of doubt. You don't constantly want to give up all the time. You want to give up on life, give up on your own existence. Being able to say maybe... I don't have a purpose. Maybe, you know, I don't have what it takes. You know, this is what the enemy wants you to believe within yourself. You don't know. There's a part of yourself that is dying. It is dying for you to be acknowledged. There's a part of you in yourself that you had to go through the trenches. You had to go through a lot of trauma and drama and stuff like that for you to be able to know that ultimate goat that you got that's just waiting for you. You got that power source that's in there. Because there'll be different things how, you you know, it really wants you to look back and, and just just really being able to see the bigger perspective, bigger picture on different things. How many of there's times you don't went hard? Really went hard on certain situations, certain people, and it come out it just was not for you. Now you know if you can do that and it'll be just like how can I feel so stupid? How do don't look at yourself like that trust me i've been there too where i've gave so many people apple opportunity i can see the red flags in front of my face and i was just blind and it was like it you know i would feel why am i so stupid why am i so naive this and this and that you at that vibration where you feel like if i'm not doing this to other people they can't be doing it to me you just really don't know people will see the light in that potential in you and they want to wreck it all the way down they want to be able to put it out and, and, and be they want you to be able to feel like there ain't nothing into you that's worth uh, evolving. There is nothing in you that can make a shift of change in this world like you're not needed. Yes, you truly are. If you ain't had so many daggone enemies, you ain't even got, you can walk into a room and people are already, you already got enemies that's already starting up with you. You know, you you be one of those type of people. I have people I ain't even did nothing to. And all of a sudden they start popping off with me, and you know, at jobs and stuff like that. And I was counting down the days. I'd be like, 52. <laughs> I'm like, why are you saying 52? I got a reason for that. You know, people that knew me or people have been on that vibration, they knew exactly what I was talking about. They said, you count down them days before you end up chewing their ass out. You about to hand them their own self. Yeah! I'm going to snatch that daggone heart and beat it and just be popping it right, right, right there. Right there. I need my job. I'm not going to do this with you, but I already see what y'all doing. Y'all need your job. You know, and it'll be different times like that until that it was like that 90th day. Boy, I was waiting for somebody to come up. I was like Rihanna, Kanye West, and goddamn on Paul McCartney. I got four or five seconds from Wilding. You know, I'm like, you know, shoot, I'm waiting for somebody to try me. I'm waiting for somebody to try me. And then they did. I flipped that script so daggone quick. 
I'm like, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I can hear mouses pissing on cotton right now. They having sex right there in the corner. And I can actually hear it now. As quiet as y'all are, crickets. Now we ain't got nothing to say. I was like, oh, we we quiet. Can we buy a vowel? You talking to me? No, vowels. Are not. Okay, that's what the fuck I thought. And it, it took me to be able to be like that. And after that, I started getting respect. You know, it would be one of those different things where I, I was at that person that you need to know when to pop off and when not. You know, especially when I was at certain jobs, I say everything in here is a weapon. You know, this is where I was cooking for the military. I said, baby, everything in this is a weapon. I can throw this hot gravy on your ass real quick. It can be that movie Fog up in here real quick or the blob real quick up in here. Don't play with me. <laughs> I, I'm that type. You know, I've been here before. You know, I'll be one of those type of people. Being in that situation where I had to really get aggressive with myself. You know, I've been through a lot. Hell, a lot of people done been through a lot. You know, you're going through something and you never know. It could be that one thing that will make you look at life totally different. When I tell you, you know, I used to think I was the F up in the family. I was the low life in the family. Everybody was successful and it was just me always struggling. Me always doing this. Me always doing that. And everybody else is being so successful. And I'm really trying to understand why it was me. Not realizing everybody and their dad or mama, they knew who I was, who knew who I was related to, put all kind of black magic on me to make sure I felt that way about myself. Now I understood why stuff was falling apart in my life like that. Feeling like they are dead gone fugitive, you know, and all those different things. And then when I found out what my purpose is, I always been since I was a little girl. I always used to tell my mom I want to help the world some kind of way. I want people to feel loved every way possible. Don't know how I was going to do it, mommy, but I was going to always be like that. I used to get in trouble because my mom is like you always used to go hug people. There were certain people you were run from, and we didn't understand why. I'm like, yeah, you know. I've seen things that y'all couldn't so that's the reason why I learned from certain people because some people were just nasty you know but it was just certain things that I knew you know when I was little even the situations I'm going through now this was like a, a, a prequel to my life like it was warning me all the way from when I was four and five I used to have very traumatic night terror screaming every day and it was warning me about what exactly what I'm going through right now and it was telling me, this is how you're going to be able to do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I used to tell my mom, I'm going to be helping the world one day. I'm going to, I'm going to really do that. I'm going to make my mark. And it used to be people I used to kick it with, people I used to smoke blunts with. They used to always tell me, you're going to, make, you're going to do something really really good in the world. And I don't know what it is, but you're going to do something. I'm like, I've been hearing that. And it wasn't even about me being, feeling myself or whatever. People used to feel that way about me. You got this energy. I don't know what it is. You just got that energy about me. That you're, you make you make your energy so welcome, especially if somebody came to my house and it was like, you know, when we used to have a smoke session, it was called Little Jamaica in there. People don't want to go home. They said, girl, when I get here, I feel so comfortable. I don't want to leave. Hell, you want to get the hell up out of here. You ain't staying here all day on day. But hey, I like it when you were here, you know, enjoying your company. But, you know, it was the chill spot. It, it was felt it felt so comfortable when you were here. You know, a lot of people would say, I don't feel comfortable at certain people's house. But with you, it's good, clean, it smells good. And it was like you, were, you had this loving energy about it. it was like, girl, you didn't use anointed oil. I didn't even know what the heck that was. I said, what is that? <laughs> like, you don't use anointed oil. It smelled like this is what you use throughout the house. I'm like, no, nah, that's just clean linen and wax melts. And I just, you know, I always, you know, bless my house before people come in. And I got bless it before I came back because I don't know what kind of energy you done brought through here. But it would be those different things. And it's like, I really love what I do. You know, I love my purpose. I, I see the difference I've made with helping different people. You know, having a gift to be able to speak to people's loved ones that has passed. You know, a lot of times it done freaked a lot of people out and people didn't want to talk to me anymore. But it was just like, that person like, hey, tell them. They said, we always made a pact. If one of us passed away early, it's just to send that message over. And they know there ain't no way that I could have did that. And it would freak them out. They were like, Rosalind, I can't talk to you no more. Because there will be certain things I just didn't want. But that person said you did. Now, they they have words for you. I'm just not going to do it no more. But I'm like, okay, it is what it is. But just being able to know how many people's lives I impact. You know, there would be different things that I've helped people on. And it was just like... You know you're the real real you know even though it's creepy and it's dumbfounded to me it's real because there'll be different times i've heard people say well i was paid tarot card readers i'm paid psychics i'm paid mediums and all this different stuff and they could never tell me anything and i say you have to understand if spirit sees that that person doesn't mean any good for you or they feel like that person is profiting off your pain 
spirit is not going to connect with that person. Or it will be different people that are not meaning good for me. And they were like, why is everybody, you have all these messages for their dead loved ones and it ain't for you. Because obviously it will be in the back of my mind. You weren't meaning to have good for me. So they are not going to allow me to help you like that. You know, and it'll be, you know, it'll be just those situations that I noticed that would be like that for people that are in my life, not for the right reasons, or they felt some type of way about me and they just weren't revealing themselves. But it was at that point where different things has overflowed and it can be very heavy for me. People are like, oh, that's cool. And it's not cool because there's a lot of times with the certain gifts that I have, I see transitions. I don't like that. I feel transitions of different things that comes through. Like it could be something that where it has something to do with fire or an explosion. And next, you know, I have boils and blisters all over my body for like 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm screaming in terror because that mess is painful. And next, you know, I have to sit up here and read recharge and reset for like two or three days or different things like that or you know spirit can touch me and I can see what took place on them right before they you know they they end up being in the upper room I don't like stuff like that you know you there's a lot of pros and cons about the different gifts that we have on the purposes that we have you know you're on that cusp of what is showing you what was and what will be and you're on that bridge of that. There's a lot of bridges you had to burn. There, there were certain ones that was like, you need to burn those bridges because they were effed up to begin with. <laughs> you do not need to go across that. And there are certain people that belong to them bridges. They damn sure can't come across because they were effed up to begin with. You had to be able to understand that they had a certain part in your life that was a pinnacle that you had to reach when those certain people that you had to realize between them, you had to realize between yourself. There is a purpose for everything that has taken place into your life. But it's up to you to be able to know it. It's up to you to be able to feel it. We experience new things each and every day. Certain things are just hard to bear. It's hard to grasp. You know, and it was so many different things that I went through into my life. You know, so much hardship. You know, I went through a lot. But it was just like after my father passed away, that was like everything that I went through in my life, you know, that was very tragic, very, you know, traumatizing to me. It was like that all wrapped into one a million times worse when I felt, you know, knew all the different people that knew about my situation or joked about it or I was the butt of the joke about different things and where they preyed on that, you know, and it was very hurtful. And I never knew what am I going to do with this. How are y'all? You know, they want, oh, well, we want you to go ahead and start a platform and you're going to be helping people with your traumatic situation. Hell, I don't even know how to help myself. How am I going to help other people? You know, how am I going to be able to do that? You know, and there was so many different times I felt that way. And it was just like when I seen the hatred out of certain people that I showed so much love for. It was a hurtful situation. So I learned every day about what strength is that I didn't even know I had no courage of having. I didn't know how I was going to make it through certain things that I just, you know, I wanted to end life because life wasn't precious to me. You know, I felt like I've been violated in every kind of way. And God like, no, you know how many enemies are hoping you do that? We're not going to allow that to happen. <laughs> you know, you've been walking on battles. You know, been walking on the devil's door and death's door a lot. People been putting you on there and I take your butt off. You know, and they get very pissed off about that. But, you know, just being able to open my life up. And, you know, it wasn't an easy thing because, like I said, when you're on a, a platform like this, you're putting yourself out for people to judge you. You know, there's a lot of people are going to be dumbfounded about the things that you say. Or they're going to be shocked like, no, nah, this can't be real. You know, I had people just like, no, nah, you're crazy. This didn't happen to you. This didn't happen. You know, having all their opinions about it. I'm like, I don't give a about what your opinions are about my life. Whatever it is, is not going to make that change. This is what happened. You know, I got receipts on what happened. I got receipts on what I'm going through. I really don't care what people think. This is what I was told to, you know, told to move through. And this is what I'm doing each and every day. You know, I get my memo about, okay, this is what I need you to do. It's just like for the last few days, I've been sitting back doing, you know, just doing me. And all of a sudden, I get all these downloads where I'm just like video, 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 video. And I mean, this is like my seven daggone video in less than 24 hours. I'm like, what the hell? I ain't been like this in a good minute. And I'm like, now, right now, I'm going hot and cold, hot and cold uh, when I tell y'all I don't know where up is in and in is up okay it, it's like one of those moments right now where it's like that 11 portal the 11 11 portal don't really busted a lot of stuff open 
you know, and it's really showing you, you have a purpose, you don't know what story you got that somebody's going to really truly need to get over on some stuff, because it's like everybody in this world, we are teacher-student situations, people are like, oh, Rosalyn, you know this, you're smart, you're this and this and that, now I appreciate that, but I said, you know how many things that I may be still struggling in, and you tell me your story, and I'm going to ask you, how the heck you do that, how did you get over on it, because you really never know what somebody is going through, what they're, they're what they're struggling to deal with every day. Because there's some part of our lives, there's some part of a chapter in our lives we do not speak out loud. That's supposed to be one of my other contents. You know, because there is something we don't speak out loud. We have a lot of things where, you know, people are like, Oh, you're lucky or you know, some I, if stuff is always handed to that person. It's like you 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 people be wanting your glory but they don't want that story they had to get to that glory. You know, there will be a lot of different times where I've had to deal with stuff like that. I said, if you only had to know the different things I have to deal with day in and day out for going through my situation, being who I am, being who I'm connected to, who I'm related to, you really don't know the stuff that I have to go through every day. You know, I see how people are with their families when I have no family that I can deal with, all the family that I deal with that are truly loving towards me had to be passed away. <laughs> you know, I don't have that. Most it's sad that you know most of the people I meet on here, I consider more of my family than the blood that I actually have. You know, and that's sad. You know, and I always tell people if you going through some stuff with some family, if you got parents and stuff that y'all going through is petty, throw that stuff out and mend it with your family before it's too late. You know. You have a parent that's actually reaching out to you and then wanting to be into your life. And you're like, oh, they're trying to be all up in my business. All they're trying to do. Take advantage of that before it's too late. You know, I'd be, it'll be different if you're dealing with people that are emotionally and mentally and verbally abusive or sexually abusive. Then I can understand you staying the heck away from them. But if it's something that y'all know y'all can talk out and get a couple of sessions of therapy with that, do that. Do that. You do not want to be in a position of where you have to reminisce on a family or a family member, whether it's a sister or brother, a mother or a father. They're no longer here. You have to reminisce about what you used to have and you took you, you took advantage of what you had and you didn't use it while I was here. You just don't know. You know, I, I envy anybody who goes through stuff like that. You have family that supports you. Mine is trying to sit up here and push me off the god on ship. Okay? You know, I have to deal with that all the time and have to be okay with it. You know, that sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow on a lot of different things that I have to go through. And I tell people, this is what I had to go through. This is what led me to my purpose. You know, and I had to be able to go through a lot of that. And it was just like, for me, opening that whole scar up, it was just like me healing that scar. And I had to rip it all the way back open just to tell different people what's going on. It's like every once in a while. God allowed me to heal that certain wound. And be like, oh, it's here. time for you to tell that story again. Got to weed out the weedies. And, you know, we got to weed out different people that are not going to like to hear that. And so they go away, you know, or different things that people need to hear because they're really, you know, they really find, you know, your different videos very, very, you know, um, very um, insightful or informative, you know. And I love being able to do that, you know, being able to speak on the different things that I've gone through, being, being very transparent about it. Because there's a lot of things in life where we fear judgment. Of how people, you know, if I open this up, are they going to see me differently? You know, are they going to judge me? It's like only God can judge you. Now, if you ask for advice from somebody that has been down that road with you, or been down that road that you have been on, then that's fine. They, you know, you're asking for advice, but even they can't judge you. They can tell you different things they can advise you to do, or these are the different things that they had to come into uh uh, come to terms with or these are the different things they had to be honest with themselves about you know those are different but it's like no judgment can ever be placed on you a step from universe and God you know and those are the different things I had to be very brutally honest about a lot of different things you know I used to uh, be at times where even when people hurt my feelings I would just stand there and just not say nothing because I said if I come out of bag on this person is going to really hurt. And I was just like, no, you ain't got to come out of bed, but you need to go ahead and put your foot down and stop letting people walk all over you. You know, because I used to be so brutally honest, I didn't care about people's feelings. 
Because I felt like, I'm being honest, that shoots you out of respect that. But it's like, damn, you ain't, my mom used to say, you are not tactful. You have no cooth. I didn't know what the hell a cooth was. You have no filter. <laughs> you might know, be like that. You have no filter. <laughs> you did just didn't have that. That's why a lot of times I used to keep my mouth shut. It's like, nah, mm-mm. This is not how we're going to do that. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to step into your power. There will be different things that you really need to go ahead and do. Because it was just like even people that can throw shades around me and not throw hands. They would do a lot of stuff. And then when I go ahead and clap right back, all of a sudden they go, you know, they'd be like a little chihuahua holding the tail between the legs and going about and be wondering, oh, this person did it. They said this. No, keep that same energy when you kept on having all these people looking at me crazy. For the stuff that you kept doing. Keep that same energy when you have all that. Because you, <laughs> you did little stuff in front of me. And you just want to embarrass me and belittle me. Keep that same energy while I'm about to feed you all your teeth back. Keep on. <laughs> you know I had to be like that with certain people. You know. And there will be a lot of times where people will come up and attack you. And, they, and the universe will tell you they're intimidated by your light. They're intimidated by your strength because they don't know how you keep powering up the way you do. And it'd be just like, if they did, why the heck they keep on trying to disturb my peace like that if they fear me so much? Because they fear what you can become. There's a lot of time people will drop a bomb of tragedies on you. And they're like, oh, there ain't no way they can be able to come up from that. And not being, not knowing that was a blessing in disguise for you. That exact tragedy that somebody placed on you all because of what they went through in their past, they wanted to repeat that history when it came to you. And not knowing, you about to really show them. But you can tell them about anything. I can come up because God picked me to be able to come up. The stuff that you put on me is going to create power in ways that you ain't never seen coming. Because you standing all up in your fears and weakness and projections and all this stuff. Now I'm about to stand in my damn truth. Now how about them apples? And God's going to use you just like that. You are standing on that bridge for what was and will damn sure will be when it's coming to you. They're making everything that seems impossible. There ain't nobody who can come from that. Ain't nobody can get better with that. Ain't nothing good can come out of a situation that somebody put something so hurtful, so detrimental, so tragic, so damning on that person's life. But yet, it happened with you. That's why they try to end you so much. That's why they always want to breathe fear into everything that you place. That you can make stuff grow. You got a green thumb. For longevity. And don't even know it. <laughs> you have a green thumb for that. You have a green thumb. To make powerful things happen. If you can sit up here. And it will be a lot of times. Where it will be. That that spirit will tell you. If you can sit up here. And love all the wrong people. And the power of love that you have. Think about what is going to happen. When you love all the right people. What kind of love you can get in return. And that's what it's going to be. When it comes to your life. You don't know what you can be able to create within that. You just don't know. And that's why it's just telling you you are you you are purposeful in your life. If that wasn't, they wouldn't be able to you, universe and God wouldn't be on your butt so hard when you be ready to give up and stuff like that. They put challenges on you and I have to be able to tell myself that there's a lot of times I have to come back and watch my videos. I be tired. I be having my eyes swollen because I don't cry so much and I have to come back and remind myself of who the f I am. I have to be able to do that. You know, who I am, who I am to the core, what, am I, what did I come here from, what, what have I gone through, what have I overcome. You know, there was a lot of pills that hurt me to swallow. There was a lot of people I had to separate from that I felt like I would die without if I didn't deal with. You know, the worst thing I had to do is in separation is from my children because my children are everything to me. And everybody made sure that we going to do this because they know that her children are everything to her. We take her children, she is nothing. And thank God it was at that time where my children are already grown. It was, it didn't, thank God they didn't take them away from me when they were little. They, you know, they already distorted that when, they came, when we got here. But it was at that point where... You know, I went through these different things and it really challenged me in so many different ways. I ain't going to sit up here and say I had a lot of setbacks. I had a lot of, because I had that. I still have all those different things, but that's not stopping me. 
Because that's showing me you, you got something really going. If you have all these different people on you, we got like about 50, 11 people coming at you and you're just this one person. And everything that they're doing is being blocked. Everything that they're doing, if it's coming into contact, is helping you grow in some kind of way. And they can't stand that about me. They can't. You know, but that's not going to stop me from growing. It's helping me see my strength. That's why I sit up here and I said it's not being funny about it. I, I, I always say on here, I thank my enemies. Because everything you're doing, you're helping me. You are truly helping me. You think you're breaking me, but you're helping me in so many ways. You're helping me recognize my power. Because if you weren't working so hard, it wouldn't let me know. Girl, you must got something very valuable. In more ways than one, very valuable. That's going to be needed out here with a lot of people. You know, we gave you this voice for a reason. We gave you this, we, we showed you where you're going to grow a backbone in many ways. And it ain't going to have to be for trying to put somebody down. It ain't going to be trying to be that nan nan boo boo type stuff. Or, oh, I'm this and this and that. I'm related to this person. This is the per It ain't even about that. It's about a person that went through some very messed up stuff. That all the family tried to keep that was a little dark secret that your ass done went out. And oh yeah, this is the dark secret. And let me tell you this and this and this and that. Oh, that dark dark secret was going to stay too dark. That was going to be a whole light truth. <laughs> After I got finished with it, that dark secret was about to be a whole light truth. Just because of the different things that I went through. And it had to be at that time where it's just like, this is your prime. This is your time. You're on that bridge of where you're creating. You're showing within your life what was and what continue will be. Because you had to be able to be that one that had to go through some different things. You're going to go through some hard situations. People are going to try to understand. How the heck are you still saying? <laughs> you know, you went through what now? You know, and you'll be that shock value. You just don't know. And it's just like a lot of times it can really hurt to go through what we go through. It can be able to hurt to get up in the morning and still have a smile on your face and still say I'm grateful. Even though everything done went to shit. You know, a lot of stuff like that happens. And excuse my French, you know, I said after that last video, I just went just straight belligerent in that video and then it kind of made me feel like oh i need to go say a couple of hail marys you know go get some rosaries outside i ain't even catholic i don't even got a religion but i'm about to find one real quick but it's true you know there's a lot of different things you don't realize this happened to you it happened for a reason because you hold a purpose here in life you don't know because there's so many different things you can be that person like what's so important about me you know, why, you know, I can't keep friends, I can't keep family, I can't even hold down a relationship or hell, even hold down a job. What is so important about me? Because you meant to create better. If you're creating a job and you're staying at a job and you're miserable at that job, I always tell people, you can't hold down a job and miserable because you're about to create your own empire. That's why stuff like that don't work out for you. Every time you get to a job, you're like, you're excited. And next, you know, it'd be that one person or a couple of people or it'll be a set of people. Yeah, see, I ain't going to be here too long. This person going to make me end up, I'm going to end up losing my job because I'm going to whip their ass today. I, it's going to be one of those type of situations. Or I'm tired of this boss. I already feel like, okay, I understand the rules. But now I see it's just a power, a power thing with you. You know, I, I've been through that different stuff where I created. Now I create my own stuff. And I love what I do. If I know I can be in those vibrations to where, let me see what, you know, I'll write down content or I'll see a different post that I have or I'll hear something in a song or I'll hear something in a video and I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and credit that person because that really hit volumes for me and I'm going to use it off as my own content, but I'm going to give that person that credits for saying what they said, you know, and being able to do that because it's just like, you 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 are that one that you can go through so many different things and when it makes me think about that it makes me think about that song by Tasha Cobb and um Nicki Minaj was uh in that video I forgot what the name of that song is but it was just like you know you you represent the god that you know you're represented by the person you know the god that parted the red sea you know um, and different stuff like that where, you know, you've gone through different things in your life where they counted you out. They, you know, you've gone through many days where you cried so many tears. You, you don't went, you, you don't face so many fears. All these different things don't took off into your life, but it took you back to who you truly needed to find out who you are towards that core. Not, not the scars, not the person that they counted you to be, not the person they counted out, but who are you to the core that you have not found out who you are? You know, that's who you are finding out. Anybody that you meet is always rerouting you to a person that you have not yet acknowledged yet. That's a part of you. 
That's why it, it'll be just like we've been walking around sleep for so long. You know, we're dealing with the matrix and you finally done fell out of that mess. And now you're seeing things for what it really is. People, some people are comfortable with sleeping. You know, they sleep walking and all that narcoleptic type mess. You want to do it. No, I need my eyes open. I need to see where I'm walking into, what I'm walking on. You know, am I going to walk myself off a bridge because my eyes is closed? Or am I, you know, I want to be able to lead my own. I want to, you know, walk to the beat of my own drum. I ain't trying to follow people. You you follow the crowd, you get lost in it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to create something my own. You know, I see what happens when people follow, you know, follow the trend. I'm trying to be my own trademark. Okay? And that's what they're doing with you. There has to be some kind of difference. There has to be some kind of change that's coming in the rift of what, what became the, the norm. You are that person that's going to make a mark in the world. I guarantee you. Keep on moving. You know, you're, you're going through things. Hell, everybody is. Like I said, there's always a chapter in a book that we don't read out loud. And it's so true. You, there's a lot of things that we are doing in life you don't know from the day you came doing from the womb. And I tell people I was doing from the womb. When I talk about it, I wasn't even out long enough. And I was already hitting tragedy within 72 hours. <laughs> With me. And I still remember that day. They were like, oh, baby, she didn't remember that. I do. Mine was very tragic, very traumatic. I remember mine's like yesterday. You know, and it hit a mark with me because I already knew something, remembering something that tragic in your life from when you were only 72 hours old, there has to be something that's going on in that life that you have not revealed yet. You have, there's a layer of yourself that you have not uncovered yet. And don't give up before you do that. You have to know there's a part of you, there's something, you know, in your soul that's telling you you haven't discovered the whole you yet. You had to go through a lot of storms. You had to go through a lot of hurricanes to where, you know, it was like when I was telling my friend the other day, it was like, Jessica, I was just like, I'm thinking to myself, you wondering why people are, you know, storms and hurricanes and stuff is named after people. And I'd be damn, I open up my phone and it says Hurricane Rosalind. And I'm like, that mess ain't funny. But damn, when I said something like that, I ain't mean on a literal sense. And it was like, I said, let me watch what I say. <laughs> Let me really watch what I say. Because it's like that. You don't know. It's like these daggone storms, they, they are something vicious. And you know, and it, it, God bless anybody who done went through some hurricanes and earthquakes and stuff like that. That's not nothing to play with. And I'm not joking about that. So there's no disrespect towards anybody like that. Because, you know, you're really going through some stuff. Because it's like you have been, you had to sit patiently through a storm that has just took you through so many, you know, that had you this way, had you this way, about to suck you up, about to put you down deep in the, in the earth, you know, into earth core. You didn't know where it was taking you, but it's rerouting you into something that you there's there's a trail you have not yet ventured off to and that's what you're finding out to that part of you that you really needed to have shoot gotta chill but anyway i hope you are able to resonate with that that uh content you know we're all, like i said before we're really going we're all going through some things in our life um that can be hard to digest at times you know, there'll be different times in life where pain can seem too great that it comes to that point where you do not want to live anymore. I, I get it. Trust me. I've been there a lot of times, but I know at the same time where if I got enemies that's coming in trying to convince me of that or trying to end my life every time I step out the door, girl, you want something good. Don't stop. And I'm telling anybody who's going through something, you just don't know what is trying to sit up here and convince you to not go on. You don't listen to that. You listen to something that th there is something yet you have not discovered about yourself that you're going to be truly proud of. No matter how you lived your life to where you were always the one, you know, last picked or the, the least to succeed or whatever like that because you are making a mark of your own that you didn't even see coming. So keep going, okay? So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. Like I said, I always leave my, you know, my contact information in the description box below. As well as, uh, you know, if you go on my community section, you'll see my different podcasts, the different things that I share on there, whether it's, you know, the different changes in the atmosphere, you know, what to look for, you know, words of encouragement, words of empowerment, as well as good things that will uplift you and just give you a good laugh for today, especially if you truly needed it. I love to be able to push that out there in all kind uh, mixed up, excuse me. 
as well. So anything you're needing to stay on your path of purpose, I'm sending that towards your way. Where the consistency, consistency, determination, motivation, dedication, I'm sending that all towards your way. You know, you truly have life and potential into your life that, you know, even your enemies are seeing it. That's why they're trying so hard to bring you down. They don't want you to be able to see your worth, but know that. <laughs> Just know your worth. Never sleep on yourself. Stay woke. Go uh, If you need to take a pause for the cause, you do that. But you jump back on that horse stronger than you did when it got when it bucked you off. Okay? So keep going because you really got something out here that many people need to see. You really have that. So much love towards yourself. If you feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. You know, I hope you had a good holiday, you know, with friends and family. You had a good turkey day. You were able to eat really good and sleep really good, love really good, whatever. Siesta, fiesta, whatever you were planning to do. So I hope you enjoyed that, whatever you did. So uh, much love to you as well. I hope you are being safe and responsible with everything you do. Sending so much love and prosperity and abundance towards your days, through your minutes, your hours, your days your weeks your months then your years towards your way you truly deserve it, especially if you know you've been working very hard and you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words live frequencies you never know all those things can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing that for so many good positive intentions and um you know motives hey it's going to take you even further so much love to you god bless shalom i say um what else uh blessed be namaste Peace. <laughs>